पार्टी तो कभी से शुरू हुई है पर भाई 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 मेरी तो एंट्री नहीं हुई है जब तक फटते नाच पिजामा पकड़ के पट्टे जब तक फटते नाच पिजामा पकड़ के पट्टे बर्थडे है भाई बर्थडे है तेरे भाई का बर्थडे है कैंडल्स बुझ गई अब सब में केक बट्टे है चिक सारी हॉट यहाँ पे कैंप सारे ठंडे हैं टेस्ट के लिए पूरे साल आज तो मेरा बर्थडे है for your 50th surprise have just started um so you said i'm not planning anything uh, for you probably so i wanted to surprise you and um 
అత్తయ్య గారు మావయ్య గారు నయన్ అండ్ నితిన్ ఎవ్రీబడి ఆర్ ఆన్ బోర్డ్ విత్ ది ఐడియా సో నౌ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ప్రభూస్ హౌస్ సో ద సర్ప్రైజ్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు బీ ఎట్ ద క్లబ్ హౌస్ సో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ ద వెన్యూ అండ్ స్టార్ట్ బుకింగ్ అండ్ సో మెనీ థింగ్స్ ఆర్ అండర్ వే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు స్లోలీ లెట్ యూ నో ద ప్రోగ్రెస్ ఓకే again this is all for you for the 50th birthday so excited um and hope it will make you thrilled and happy once you know the reveal all right nayan what have we got there come on open it up okay this is also one of the party decorations for chanu's 50th surprise birthday party and nayan is doing the honors to open and see what we got here careful buddy don't cut your saw bekarar ho ke da look at that oh we need a picture daddy's picture here and then and then look at those so people the guests who come to the party are going to write a happy birthday and maybe a small message um that can fit on these and then put them slide them through an enclosure there and this is the guest book too it's, oh no this is not the guest book i think this is yeah this is the, this is the plate for that we we'll put there all right so these go in here and then we have um, all the guest just captured in here look at that more decorations these are for goody bags so nayan this is going to be can you keep it aside daddy's birthday so here is a more uh, uh, decor or birthday um you know uh, preparations going on so nitin is opening up i think this is it's a decorative stand i think we are going to put yes frame or something of that sort i'm going to decorate this one Happy 50th birthday for you. I love you. May God bless you, my son. Hi, Tano. It's very, very happy birthday for you. This is very significant. Uh, it is a 50th birthday. God bless you always at all times. It is a success. Ate garu so today is your birthday also right january 10th today is my birthday also so how old are you i am completing 80 80 years so it, this is 80th birthday for you yeah and uh, chanakya's 50th birthday yes awesome so that's two milestones today okay thank you thank hi chanu happy birthday to you and many many happy returns of the day thank you chanu janmadina subhakanchalu ayur aarogya aishwaral toti pilla paapal toti muni manamala toti nooreedlu hai ga jeevitham gadapali hey bhav garu many many happy returns of the day happy new year bhav garu hi andai garu 
विश यू मेनी मेनी हैप्पी रिटर्न ऑफ द डे हाय चानू मामा हैप्पी बर्थडे हैप्पी बर्थडे बाव गुरु मेनी मेनी हैप्पी रिटर्न ऑफ द डे हैप्पी बर्थडे चानू अनया हैप्पी बर्थडे चानू मामा हैप्पी बर्थडे टू यू हैप्पी बर्थडे टू यू हैप्पी बर्थडे टू यू चानू एंड भारतता Happy birthday Happy birthday birthday to to you. Hi, Happy birthday. <laughs> Hello, Shama, ne, 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 ko, Shama, ne, ko, ne, 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 నిజంగా ఒక అమ్మలాగ నన్ను ఆదరించావు ఎప్పుడు గురించి వచ్చినా చీరలు పెట్టి నన్ను బాగా చూసుకున్నావు నేను ఎప్పుడు మర్చిపోలేను వదిన అదే ఆయన మిమ్మల్ని అలా తలుచుకుంటూనే ఉంటాను అన్నాయని బాగా చూసుకో హ్యాపీ బర్త్డే చాలా కట్టుకుంది కదా అత్త చీర అత్తి ఇచ్చిన చీర కూడా నువ్వు ఇచ్చింది నేను చాలా బాగా చూసాను చాలా నిన్ను మిస్ అవుతున్నాను హ్యాపీ బర్త్డే అత్త హ్యాపీ బర్త్డే చాను అత్త నువ్వు విజయనగరం వచ్చినప్పుడల్లా నన్ను నువ్వు విజయనగరం వచ్చినప్పుడల్లా మనం సినిమా చూసేవాళ్ళం ఎస్ వి కృష్ణారెడ్డి మూవీస్ అన్ని లెక్క పెట్టుకుని చూసేవాళ్ళం బాగా హిట్ అయినా హిట్ అవ్వకపోయినా ఎగిరే పావరం దగ్గర నుంచి అదేంటి శుభ శుభ సంకల్పం అలాంటి సినిమాలు అన్ని చూసాం సినిమా బగ్ అనేది నువ్వెక్కించింది మా అందరికీ అందరం ఎప్పుడు కలిసినా గిడుగు వాళ్ళు మేము ఎప్పుడు కలిసినా నీ నీ సినిమా నువ్వెలా మమ్మల్ని అందరినీ సినిమాలు తీసుకెళ్ళావు అవే తలుచుకుని నవ్వుకుంటూ ఉంటాం చాను హ్యాపీ బర్త్డే టు యూ టూ ఫిఫ్టీయత్ బర్త్డే నువ్వు మెసేజ్ చేసినప్పుడు శ్యామ్ది వీళ్ళకి చాను పెద్దనాన్న బిందు పెద్దమ్మ అంటే ఎవరో అన్నట్టు ఐ హ్యావ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ బట్ దిస్ వీడియో ఇస్ మచ్ మోర్ ఈజియర్ ఎందుకంటే చాను పెద్ద నాన్న ఫిఫ్టీయత్ బర్త్డే వీడియో చేయాలి అని కానీ ఇద్దరు ఎక్సైటెడ్ తొందరగా వచ్చారు దెన్ న్యూ హూ ఇట్ వాస్ ఐ హోప్ యూ ఎంజాయ్ అండ్ బిందు అండ్ నితిన్ అండ్ నాయన్ ఐ మేక్ మీట్ మచ్ మోర్ స్పెషల్ ఫర్ యూ అండ్ ఫర్ అత్త యాజ్ వెల్ నాకు నీతో జ్ఞాపకాలు అంటే డామన్ జోడి టు వైజాగ్ మన మారుతి ఎయిట్ హండ్రెడ్ లో ట్రిప్స్ బాగా గుర్తొస్తాయి అత్త చాలు నా కొడుకులు అని అన్నప్పుడు ఇంతమంది బావాలు నాకు ఎందుకు వస్తా అన్నట్టు ఎప్పుడు అంతనేది అనిపించుకునేవాళ్ళం ఆ జోక్స్ అవి వి హ్యాడ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఫన్ ఐ రియలీ కరోలీ ఎంజాయ్ వెన్ యూ కేమ్ కియర్ నువ్వు వచ్చినప్పుడు కూడా నేను కృష్ణకి అదే చెప్పాను జోక్స్ వేసి జోక్స్ తనే తను ఎంజాయ్ చేసి ఇట్ మేక్స్ ఇట్ మోర్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ అండ్ మోర్ ఫన్నీయర్ అని అన్నాను అండ్ యూ హ్యావ్ బీన్ జస్ట్ లైక్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ నాట్ చేంజ్ ద బిట్ అట్ ఆల్ లుకింగ్ ఫార్వర్డ్ టు స్పెండింగ్ మోర్ టైమ్ విత్ యూ గైస్ లుకింగ్ ఫార్వర్డ్ టు క్యాచింగ్ అప్ అగైన్ అండ్ సెలబ్రేటింగ్ మెనీ మోర్ సెలబ్రేషన్స్ లైక్ దిస్ టుగెదర్ అంతేగా అంతేగా జోక్స్ పాట్ చాను డార్లింగ్ హ్యావ్ హ్యావ్ ఎ బ్యూటిఫుల్ అండ్ హ్యాపీ బర్త్డే అగైన్ బాగా ఎంజాయ్ చేయి నెక్స్ట్ బర్త్డే విల్ సెలబ్రేట్ ఇన్ యుఎస్ ఆర్ ఎనీ అదర్ కంట్రీ బట్ టుగెదర్ హ్యాపీ బర్త్డే ఇద్దరికి అండ్ బాగా సెలబ్రేట్ చేసుకోండి మమ్మల్ని అందరినీ గుర్తు తెచ్చుకోండి తలుచుకోండి మేము కూడా అక్కడే ఉన్నామని ఫీల్ అవ్వండి బట్ వీ విల్ డెఫినెట్లీ క్యాచ్ అప్ సూన్ అంటిల్ దెన్ బాయ్ హ్యాపీ బర్త్డే హాఫ్ సెంచురీ కెన్ వెయిట్ టు సీ వట్ ద నెక్స్ట్ హాఫ్ లుక్స్ లైక్ సో హ్యాపీ టు బి ఏబుల్ టు సెలబ్రేట్ విత్ యూ టుడే అండ్ హియర్ సో మెనీ మోర్ ఇన్ ద ఫ్యూచర్ Happy birthday Chanu wish you many many more uh, healthy and happy years ahead Chanu wish you a very 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 happy birthday I I always wish that you lead a very happy healthy and prosperous life uh, age is just a number so this this wish remains the same this year next year and for many years to come so enjoy life and be happy happy birthday once again 
Happy 50th Chanu Mama. Congrats on the half century. It was nice meeting you, Bindu Atta, and showing Nayan Nitin around. Hopefully we can have, uh, celebrate your birthday in Atlanta next week. Hi Chanu, it was such a lovely opportunity to meet you in person. And you are so much of fun to be with. And I could really relate all those fun moments of, uh, you know, how all of you were there maybe when you were young. And, you know, I never felt like, uh, you know, I needed time for me to even get into know you, talk to you and things like that. You always made it very uh, quick. Uh, you were able to, you know, um, get across to us. Um, and I found that, uh, you know, we, this was the first time we met also in person. And um, I'm not really being able to express how Edo, Edo Nalu Chus Netu, Edo Nalu Mashad Netu, we kind of uh, spoke. So yeah, I really felt at ease and I really felt at home with you and it's so great that you made the effort to come here in person. Um, I think now this has actually opened up the uh, route for us. Now it is up to us to now, you know, make our effort. So I'm going to say, Charm as our bucket list and our uh, aspect of planning around next time around. And that's what I wanted to say. And here's also wishing you a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful year and uh, a very, very happy birthday. Hello, happy 50th Ra. Welcome to the club. Now it's time to take a pause. I would, I would suggest uh, relive your, all your memories for the last 50 years. Spend some time with the family. Get those two boys uh, to know more about all those pranks you did during your 50 years. And tell, tell them stories about uh, Daman Jodi, tell them stories about Rai Gada, tell them stories about Kodapur, tell them stories about Raul Kela, all those places what you were up to and all those naughty things which you have done and what you know I, I would suggest Nene 50 years in Atlanta alone today a biker bike koni biker gang join a Walter Pato next uh, you know one two years just plan trips around a bunch of bike koni you will enjoy uh, those uh, you know those two or three months if you travel around and have fun and I heard that it is also Atta's birthday. She is crossing a milestone of 80. Uh, she's, uh, I wish her a, a very happy birthday. We pray that she lives longer and she is there always to bless us. And uh, you know, shower blessings on us. Uh, and uh, keep, you know, keep her in good health. It's uh, a, a big memory that she is there with us and she is blessing us. Uh, have a good day, Ra. Enjoy your day and cheers. All right, Rock is a happy birthday now. <laughs> Start chill later. Uh. Yes. Shano, happy birthday. No one in family happy ga undalani. Abalon thei sarvakal sarvasula practice. I hope next year we can cut the cake in real and not having to do a video message on. There you go, even Rocket is saying hello and happy birthday for you. <laughs> Hi, Hi Mia. Wish you many, 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 many happy, happy returns of the day. day. Hope you have a lot of fun this year to join you on a lot of fun and uh, do more ballet items. <laughs> hey Chalu, it's your 50th birthday celebration. I'm excited about this for two reasons. One, it's your 50th birthday, congratulations. And second, I just turned 50 a few months back and I'm feeling awfully lonely up here. So you're joining me, I'm incredibly happy. Um, I've only known you for a few years, 
um, since our MBA journey together. And, um, and I could say that you are an honest and a um, true friend that anyone could ask for. You always stood by me and um, really appreciate that, brother. I wish you a very happy birthday and many more birthdays to come. And uh, by the way, Mike is just jealous of you and your good looks. Don't worry about it. Happy birthday, brother. Hey, Chalo. Remember how excited you were when you turned five? I'm sure you are 10 times excited today. Congratulations on turning 25 again. Happy birthday. Hey Chanu, uh, really excited for you going into this next chapter in your life. And we thought you might appreciate some stats as someone who loves data on why it's great to be 50. So just keep in mind, 22.6% of the people on earth are over 50. Yeah. In a hostage situation, you are the most likely to be let go first. Oh, and your ears and nose gets bigger. Uh, you are entering what is statistically your best decade for earning money. And statistics show that a man age 50 has an 11% chance of living to the age of 100. 11%? 11%, that's yes. pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, we know this is going to be a great decade for you, and we wish you all the best. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, Chanu. What's up, my brother? Um, happy 50th birthday. Mm, I hope you have a wonderful and very memorable um, birthday, man. Um, half century is a long time, but you made it. Um, congratulations on that. Um, I'm just one year behind you, man. So. Don't feel bad, all right? And what Mike said to you, um, don't trust man. You, know, you don't look that old. Um, only thing that you have to do is just shave off your mustache. That's it. It'll make you look much younger, all right? Okay, um, I'll see you soon. And I love you, bro. See you soon. Bye. Hey, Shanu. It's Joe here. I want to take a second to wish you a happy 50th birthday. Wow, I mean, 50, that's a big number, but I'm sure you've grown and learned a lot of things over the 50 years. I look forward to continuing to talk with you and learning all the things that you've learned over your time. And I hope that this year brings you lots of joy and happiness. Um, and I look forward to celebrating with you. So talk soon. See ya, bye. Hey, Chanu, uh, happy birthday, man. Wow, 50 years, I can't believe it. Um, actually, I can't believe you're, you just turned 50. I thought you were 50 like six, seven years ago when I met you. Um, so whatever you're doing um, isn't working. Uh, you need to change your habits, um, a little bit of exercise. Uh, you know, you are not aging well. Um, so, Having said that, love you, man. Happy birthday. And uh, looking forward to seeing you. Bye-bye. Hello, my name is Nyan. I'm in 11th grade, and I'm the youngest in the family. And my dad is celebrating his 50th birthday today. I wish you a very well, very good happy birthday. It's your half century today. You're an amazing, amazing dad. You've always taught us to be great people, and you always celebrated our success, and I can so I can be always thankful for that, that I have that in my circle. Hi, my name is Nitin Bogaraju, Chanakya's oldest son. And happy, well, first of all, happy birthday, Dad. You know, I wish you the very best birthday. We put together this birthday, me, Mom, and Nayan. You know, hopefully it's a good one. I remember last time we did this about 10 years ago. And uh, let me tell you, that, that was from what I can remember. Hi, uh, my name is Hima Bindu and um, I have been married to Chanu since 2000. So I know him for quite a bit now. Um, the journey has so many ups and downs and um, uh, storms and pleasant moments. And I think it's 
it's it's most incredible so far so chanu first i want to say that wish you a very 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 happy 50th birthday i feel like i'm repeating myself this uh, this is this feels like deja vu to me because i've done this for your 40th um i think uh, you know that time uh, uh, kids were so young and uh, i was all alone doing everything by myself and uh, uh, i still remember the taunts uh that came from you like you know the and uh, the ca- the crankiness you showed uh on the birthday uh that you don't want to come to your own birthday party because you didn't know i i can totally understand uh where you're coming from but uh, uh all the pains and struggles that i have endured for one month of preparation to make you come to that party and be surprised pleasantly surprised and make some good memories with your buddies and family um so so i feel like i'm repeating myself again now after 10 years uh the same thing and um we'll see how that goes uh my favorite moment with my dad was when we always used to practice together um we always used to go to the nets at shaker rag park early in the morning to practice uh and those were really cool memories for me because i used to do something i enjoy with a person that I love to spend time with. You got a blast. It was a great great celebration. Um I remember that it was a hard time, you know, getting you to the party. I remember mom, you know, spending all this time and effort for like months and we were only kids at the time, so we couldn't really help out. But um I remember that night that we were trying to get you to the party. I still don't know to this day, you know, how mom actually got you to the party, but you you showed up and you know uh that was that was a great celebration and here we are 10 years later doing it again uh this time me and nine were able to help out more and uh yeah so my dad is a very hard working person he never never skips out on work if there's work to be done he's always doing it and i feel like he's taught us that a lot I love my dad very much and I know he loves me uh mainly because throughout for as long as I can remember he's always been there for me and um so it's it's a big milestone I know that you um in in few conversations you had mentioned before um saying that um uh, I don't know what I'm going to get for my 50th birthday um you know like in in few instances you mentioned um that it what you want it to be uh memorable and such so now with the help of kids uh now that they're they're big enough old enough to understand we have started the preparations when you went to india last month so um and and i am in uh, november so uh, the preparation started right then and uh, kids helped me throughout i hope really it will be a very good memory for you um uh, in the party He is a very honest and a very loving guy. He won't he will always tell you the truth even if it's hard to hear, which is good for you. And I'm so thankful that I have someone to tell me that and to keep me in check. Um he loves spending time with me and Nathan. He always watches movies with us. He always sits down with us and talks to us about our problems, which I feel is amazing and it helped us a lot in the journey. You know, every moment that I've been struggling in school, I remember this one time um when I was in second grade actually. Um I was in a private school and I remember I was falling behind quite a bit. Uh you're struggling to keep up with the class, you know, like the reading, the math, uh, all all that. And I remember uh there was a parent teacher conference that day and Basically the teacher told my dad saying um but saying that like I was falling behind you know um I couldn't keep up with the class etc and he, you know they were planning on you know holding holding me back a grade and well my dad was not about to let that happen so he uh took the time to actually every day after school he would help me with my homework um and try to get me up to speed with the class and for you know thankfully it all worked out in the end because i was able to pass my my tests at the end of the year and that he helped he helped me 
uh, or he kept me from getting held back. Yeah, all the time. We always spend time together. All, every single moment we spend together is always a laugh. My dad was a cartoon character. Um, I guess he reminds me of Mr. Bean, you know. He's always goofy, you know, telling, telling jokes, you know, basic dad jokes here and there. Um, he's just an all-around, he has a really good uplifting personality and he always just knows how to make people laugh. How did I meet my husband? That's quite interesting. So I didn't know my husband um, through any other means. It was an arranged marriage um, in 2000. Um, uh, on a fateful uh, day, my dad um, saw a matrimony ad and said, okay, let's, let's try to see, you know, and he sent my horoscope and uh, photograph and there, there, there goes, you know. Um, immediately, uh, Ate Garu and Maui Garu, they responded back saying that uh, uh, we would like to uh, see the girl and so so three months prior to our actual marriage day which was on September 1st um, I met Ate Garu, Maui Garu and Vani. Uh, Vani was flying to India that day so uh, in uh, Hotel Meghalaya um, and that's it I think the same day I, uh, they asked they took few pictures uh, when I met them and uh, they sent those pictures to you and asked for your opinion. Looks like you didn't know how to choose wisely. You immediately said yes. Okay, <laughs> that was a joke. Um, anyway, so how can you reject me, right? <laughs> so you said yes and I think um, uh, within, within a day we were, we were almost, we were engaged. Uh, even though I haven't met you in person, um, you just flew to India one week before the marriage. That was too late for me to say no, right? So I met you one week before marriage in, um, in the hotel that you stayed again. Um, and I came to meet you and uh, I think rest is history. I don't think there's any my mom and brother don't know, but if I had to pick a specific moment that was funny, <clears throat> I remember one time we were going on a road trip and we stopped in a Starbucks and he was trying to go to the bathroom and on the male sign there was no sign indicating it was a male restroom so he walked into the female restroom and me and him, me and my brother would just stand there and just laughed at him the whole time and he didn't even know he was in there when he walked back out is when he realized we said dad look at the sign that was really funny how are me and my dad the same um well, for one, I don't really like uh, partying too much, and I know my dad, uh, you know, is the same way, you know. Uh, we're both uh, very closed off, I would say. Uh, not, we're not very social in that manner, and we don't like being the center of attention. But, I mean, I know once in a while I like to be celebrated, you know, in your birthday. I know he would like to be celebrated on his birthday too. I guess once a year is, you know, the cutoff for, um, you know, being uh, sociable in that aspect, if that's the right word. He's very reliant. He, every single time <clears throat> I go to him with a problem, he always has a solution for it. And he never lets me down in that. So 2000, December 1st, uh, we got married. So it's 22 years. We just, we just finished 22 years and we are now um, on our journey in the 23rd year of marriage. What is my dad not very good at? He's not good at reading in between the lines. I can say that. Whenever I go to him, sometimes he's not really good at telling or picking up on my emotions, so he'll probably just say something that's not really in place, but he always makes up for it. My dad's favorite outfit? Uh, well, he wears pretty much the same thing uh, every time we go out. You know, je the black jeans or blue jeans and a black polo or dark, dark colored polo. That's his favorite outfit. You know, that he would wear that anywhere, any occasion that works. Well, there are so many positive things. Um, if I have to pick few, I would say he's the most straightforward person that I've ever met. Um, very simple, uh, very honest and uh, compassionate. Um, a good friend, a uh, mentor, um, I think he sees the world just black and white, he doesn't know the grey areas. 
so Chanu, you need to know <laughs> everything. What well, makes me proud of my dad? Well, for one, he's a very hard worker. I know that's been iterated a lot throughout. Uh, he's been said to him a lot, but uh, it's very, it's really true. You know, he every time. Uh, mm, my dad doesn't like that she takes so many pictures on trips and doesn't enjoy the moment, which he is a very in the moment person. So I feel like he doesn't like that. Uh, there are a few things I would have, I would like to see more in Chanu, or I would have liked to see more. Um, I, like I said, I think one one thing um, is the main thing is he doesn't know the world, the different variations in the world. He just sees the world white and black. So just just know um, the other, like you know, uh, there are the other shades of, to it. Um, so so that you really know the true colors of everybody or or you know situations and everything. How do I know my dad loves me? I know he loves me because he's always there for me. Even when it seems like I've done the most wrong thing possible, he, how could he ever stay? He always sits by me and continues to uh, teach to me all of the ways to be better, how to overcome whatever obstacle you're facing right now. So yeah, that, that's why he loves me. I know he loves me. My dad's favorite food, that's a, uh, that's a, he likes a lot of cuisine, I'll be honest with you, but uh, he, I mean, any type of uh, chicken dishes, you know, chicken curry, chicken biryani, all that, you know, my dad would live for that, so. And another thing I would say is, he's lazy, he's not social at all, no, he doesn't like parties, I am, on the other hand, I love parties. I love to go out and Chanu, I would love you to tag along with me and come to the most parties that you try to avoid nicely. So that's one thing um, that I would like to see in him. Um, more spontaneity. You're not spontaneous at all and I am the most spontaneous person. So I would like more spontaneity in you. Don't plan too much. Don't worry too much. Just be spontaneous. That's all. My dad loves that my mom is able to cook any food within five to 10 minutes because he's always busy, busy, time crunch, time crunch. So he never gets that piece of eating good food and she brings that to him. Faces an obstacle or something, whatever life throws at him, you know. Um, he always finds a way to bounce back, whether it's with a job, whether it's... Uh, I love my dad, he's the best father that, or only but best father that I can ever have. He treats me amazing. He always teaches me and preaches to be a good person with a good heart. And I feel that that is very amazing to have. With any situation really, it's, um, he just finds a way to bounce back, you know. He's resilient that way. I think the whole journey has Unforgettable, unforgettable moments from from the day I boarded the plane with him from India to United States. Uh, the the flight journey itself was was really uh, something that I have to talk about, and that I probably will take half a day, so I will leave the details uh, to your imagination. Um, but then again, um, like I said, you know, he did something very naughty in the flight uh, because I'm a very chatterbox, and he made me just doze off for the entire flight duration. So you can imagine what he must have done. Uh, so I was knocked off. Um, and then um, I'd say definitely my my first kid, um, Nitin. I think he's a blessing in our life. Like everything changed uh, once he arrived. Uh, we became more responsible from, from the just happy-go-lucky couple to a more evolved version of, you know, parents, um, and, you know, with res responsibilities and taking care of uh, another new life. Um, so he taught, he taught us a lot of things. And then um, our first home uh, back in 2004 that we bought in Atlanta, that was remarkable. Um, and, and another thing, um, you know, definitely, uh, 
Nayan being born in that same house, um, you know, that, that our first home, that was another um, biggest thing. And there are um, so many things that we've done together um, as a family, as a couple. Uh, so I would say uh, many, many, many things. Um, but yeah, so many adventures. <laughs> can name everything but these are some of the beautiful things that I definitely have to say um, most honest person dedicated dedicated uh, dad and dedicated family man my husband's first car uh, what was my husband's first car Nissan extra favorite place to eat any good Indian restaurant uh, our first house, what was our first house together um, is um, the Rigid Stony Point on Exit 12. First date? Come on, I don't remember we did have any first date. Chanu, you are yet to take me on a date. Uh, the favorite pastime for, uh, for both of us together, me and uh, Chanu, is to binge watch Netflix series till 3, 4 a.m. Favorite trip, there are many, but I would definitely say the most favorite trip uh, for us was the California trip where um, we visited in 2015. And uh, when we came back, we, we flew there and we Chanu did a cross country drive from San Jose, California to Atlanta. And of course, we did have two stopovers, but then that was uh, something of bucket list item for him. Uh, favorite alcohol uh, uh, for Chanu is whiskey. Uh, what would be the dream vacation destination together? That is also on the bucket list. The two of us, we haven't been uh, to any dream vacations yet. That's yet to come. Probably I'm thinking Cancun or somewhere nice where we don't have to have kids <laughs> uh, on the trip. Uh, how many countries did my husband visit? Only three, India, Australia and US. As a wife and husband, uh, we hope not kill each other, survive and celebrate the next 50th uh, milestone, which is 100th, 100th birthday together as well. If we, are, if we make it that thus far, I think that's good. Who is my husband's favorite mus musician, Kishore Kumar? And in singers, he likes, uh, favorite singer is Arijit Singh. I'm most, what, what am I most proud of him? That's a loaded question. Um, I think I'm most proud of him the way, um, you know, he, he takes responsibility and he takes ownership of things. Um, he, he, he's, a, he's a down to earth person in many aspects, especially he's a wonderful dad. Um, I, I, I can be rest assured that even if I'm not around, um, things will go smoothly you know, in his presence uh, and everything, uh, nothing falls apart. So, so, Chanu, I'm planning my next solo trip. You know that, right? That's coming. Uh, uh, final uh, words uh, about my husband. Um, just be who you are, uh, the way you are. Um, uh, just uh, stay happy, stay positive, always like uh, uh, I like I like the sense of humor um, in you and the responsibility um, for, towards us. Um, continue to be the best person, best dad, best um, good friend um, and partner the way you are. Happy birthday, wish you a very, very happy 50th birthday. Hope you love this surprise and um, this is something new that we planned, so hopefully you really like it. Bye. So Dad, first of all, happy 50th birthday. I know it's a, it's a very big milestone for you. And uh, you know, that's half a century, you know, I guess. And cheers to 50 and cheers to 50 more. Happy birthday, Dad. Bye. Dad, uh, you're an amazing person, an amazing dad. You always teach me to be good and have a good heart. And for that, I love you. I love you, Dad. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Chanu. Hope you like your surprise.